again. Getting it on with our daily double dose of rock and roll music. You know it is the best in the West. It is two minutes after four. We'll make you moan. Feel good all over at 64 KFI. Los Angeles. I'm Jack Armstrong. I'm your furry cuddly. Kiss you hard on the mouth, darling. Make your toes curl up like a salted snail gorilla. At K5. Our last dance, baby. She must have danced with you once before. Yeah, you're supposed to dance with them, not on them. Oh, things that are going on. This is turning into the Iran hour here, the first hour. I know this has been going on for a long time. Twelfth day of the hostage situation in Tehran. Uh, there is a Republican candidate for president. I won't identify him. He's from New Hampshire, and he stated today the United States should give Iran 72 hours to release the hostages or threaten military action, and this would cause the Soviet Union to pressure Iran to give up the hostages because they need the oil that's in Iran as bad as we do, and we are the only people who have the ability to keep refining it there. That's what was the statement was. That's one thing that has come out today. The other thing is the students have declared that the Ayatollah can decide on freeing hostages, and the students can decide, and no one else can decide because there were rumors that they were going to let the, the women... In the uh, compound go and the blacks in the compound go and they said no the militants said that will not be the case president carter was talking to the afl-cio convention in washington this afternoon he said he would never allow any foreign country to dictate any american policy as this thing struggles on we'll keep you in tune with it at k5 with passenger jet 6811 and let them show you what they do best american airlines bringing you this traffic report with bruce wayne bruce stop whistling at the women and tell them what's going on with the traffic there will you hi jack if you'll pardon the expression <laughs> Are we going to Cuba or what? what well, is... <laughs> well, you know, right now we'll just take a look at L.A. and Orange County where traffic is misbehaving just a little bit. Harbor Freeway southbound at Adams out of the downtown area. They have a three-car stack up. All vehicles have been moved to the right shoulder. San Bernardino Freeway eastbound at Santa Anita. Stall vehicle clear. Santa Ana Freeway northbound north of Carmenita. An accident working. And at 223rd and Wilmington, they had a tank fire going in a refinery. That fire is just about knocked down now. A uh, little smoke still drifting around at that location. In the sky, Bruce Wayne, KFI. I love you anyway. Despite it all. Despite the fact that your mouth's so big that when you brush your teeth, only your elbows stick out. Yeah, you should talk. You're the only person I've ever seen could get a roaring fire in one. It's uh, 12 minutes after 4. No matter how your job is, if you're on your way home, imagine if you were a cop. Now, cops have special problems because they have to arrest people for breaking the law, but that makes it real hard for them to break the law. Like, for instance... We all speed every now and then, you know, in some places. And some of us, you know, we smoke those, yeah. Well, there's a cop, a guy that has been fired off the L.A. Police Department. Now, dig this. Uh, he, he, he has a, a, a wife who grows marijuana. We've heard this story before. Remember the, uh, the, the guy in San Francisco, the appellate judge, whose wife grows marijuana? Same situation. But the a police officer comes home and catches these two kids breaking into his house, right, trying to rifle his house. So he turns them over to the local sheriff's department says, Here, caught these boys breaking into my house. They go to the sheriff's department and blow him in for growing marijuana in a small pot outside of his uh, house, and he's fired. Aren't you glad you have your job? Man? If you'd like some super quake, a close-up with Dr. George Fishbeck follows at six. You like fog? Are you in a fog? Well, then you'll like the fog near the coast tonight. High clouds tomorrow, partly cloudy Saturday. Low tonight, 58. High tomorrow, 80. High 70, 76. High today was 84. The beach at 70. San Fernando Valley, 81. Long Beach, 77. 72 in San Diego. And 76 degrees in Midtown L.A. on 64 KFI. Oh, my love, Led Zeppelin in 64 KFI. It's not the love that's hard to take. It's all the grief that comes with all the love. Right. It's 26 minutes after 4. There's a lot of that. Mark Thompson has no grief. He lives on Alfred Street here in uh, uh, Los Angeles. He wants himself the Fleetwood Mac Tusk album, which is a double album that's worth 16 bucks by simply calling us here at KFI. If you think it sounds easy, it will be easy again tomorrow starting at 1 o'clock. We continue to give all kinds of goodies to you. Tomorrow, we can send you and a friend of the Bob Dylan concert. Plus, you get the album Slow Train coming. Or you could get to see Dion Warwick in concert at the Pasadena uh, Civic Auditorium and win her album Dion. Happens all weekend long. Starts tomorrow at 1 with Eric Chase at K5. Another R.G. Canning attraction. Good thing they said those Playboy bunnies would be there in person. Yeah, Playboy bunnies can be seen without being in person. This is true. Enough to make you moan. Barbara strides it in down to summer. 28 and a half after four. No more tears. Enough is enough. Time to trade the old one in and get a new one and break it in. K-5. More tears, enough is enough. Oh, don't, 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 don't give up on your, on your lady. I mean, bring her home some, some candy. Uh, you know, buy her a, a, a new, uh, get a new car for your lady. I wish I could make a trade like that. Yeah. Air races. Baby, when the small gets bad around here, everybody's racing for it. 24 before 5.
Yeah, this is them. Pop music. You can still write it down. KFI. Pop music got to be dressed for it. Want a customized KFI t-shirt? Be the 14th in L.A. at 5201 KFI, Orange County 9530 KFI. The other things that may you may not have heard that are happening here uh, around the country. There's a bill in Congress introduced this afternoon to hold $100 million of Iranian assets for damages that might result from harm to the hostages. Isn't that interesting? I don't think it's enough. hundred million, that's only a million a person. I think they ought to be at least five million a person in it. I mean, you know, if we're going to do this, let's get these figures up to the right proportions. Iran says uh, they, that they're not going to release the hostages until they get the Shah back. And the UN says until they release the hostages, there will not be a Security Council meeting. How about that? We'll check with traffic with Bruce Wayne, all brought to you by Air California in 60 seconds. Air California makes this traffic report possible. Here's a man who's always looking for trouble. I'm going to play uh, this next thing for him by uh, Supertramp called Take the Long Way Home. It's it's all yours, Bruce, upcoming. What's going on with the traffic? Oh, okay, Jack, we have a whole handful of trouble out here. Pomona eastbound, west of Peck, a motorcycle accident with injuries. Ventura Freeway westbound between Winnetka and DeSoto, a collision. San Diego southbound at Avalon, they're working a problem. Santa Monica westbound at San Pedro, a stall in lane one. A Golden State Freeway northbound, north of Alameda, a vehicle fire now out. Accident clearing San Diego northbound at Lake Forest. In the sky, Bruce Wayne, KFI. Take a long way home. We're going to see the sights. Yeah, especially the secretary works in the office. There's a sight. Adele Basile, who lives on Bentley Street in Los Angeles, is not being silly. She has a brand new customized KFI t-shirt by being the caller that we designated. And speaking of being silly, or sort of being silly, I guess, did you know that they're going to let the legislators decide whether there's going to be a swimsuit competition at the Made of California pageant at the 1980 State Fair? The guy that runs all this, Russell Cahill, said that uh, he's going to let the budget committee of the joint legislative people decide whether there will be a bathing suit contest because he's gotten remarks from a lot of women and, and uh, women organizations that it's the most sexist part of the uh, pageant and that it's in poor taste and, and, and things like he's going to leave it out of the, of the planning and the legislative budget committee can put it back in if they decide it belongs but he's saying it's sexist and he, does, he doesn't think it belongs at the, at the state fair. He says uh, it focuses on various parts of the contestant's anatomy during the judging. Yeah, and sometimes it can put you off your hot dog too. <laughs> minutes before five. Here's Rupert Holmes. Rupert Egan to your radio there with the Escape Pina Colada song. Make me mine a double. I've earned it. 64 KFI. If you like song, Rupert Holmes at 64 KFI at eight and a half minutes before five with Jack Armstrong and the Gorilla. Today's the great smoke out. You're not supposed to be smoking cigarettes if you normally smoke. You normally smoke. You may normally be on fire. Someone's rubbing you the wrong way. Anyway, the American Cancer Society is trying to get five million Americans to stop smoking for at least one day. That's today. Uh, the first step to get you to stop smoking completely. Today mean everything? Well, they're talking about cigarettes here. Well... They mean all cigarettes. I'm not getting into that. 30 million people have quit smoking, by the way. Uh, but sales are up for cigarettes. 24 demonstrations in North Carolina today, the largest tobacco-producing state. Good about the weather, too. Fog near the coast tonight. High clouds tomorrow. Partly cloudy on Saturday. Low tonight, 58. High tomorrow, 80. High 70, 76. High today was 84 at the beach, 70. San Fernando Valley, 81. Long Beach, 77. San Diego, 72. And 71 in KFI in Midtown. Top of your love. Something you can't finish. Get me to the finish line. Crystal Gale at 64 KFI. Stand by for the Little River Band. Little River Band.